Hey everyone, I'm Crystal. And I'm Brian. And we're at Von Holle Adventures. We're full-time nomads, whether we're in a van full-time or flying around the world or staying at a family member's house. These are the certain items that we're gonna talk about that we like to have on hand at all times. Yeah, so often when you're traveling, you're sitting for long periods of time, whether you're on a road trip or you're flying around. So these are items that can help with that muscle soreness and stiffness or just chronic pain in general. And also items that we keep on hand for bloat and gas because when you're traveling, you're often eating foods you're not used to and you just wanna keep your immune health high. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right in and start with tip number one. All right, let's do it. If you are new to our channel and you're kind of wondering who are these people, why are they talking about health? To give you a little bit of a background, I am trained in cellular regeneration, detoxification, woman's health and herbal medicine, plant-based nutrition and gut health. So this, all the things that we're going to be talking about within this video are from our personal experiences and also pulling from my professional experience as well. I'm going to sit this one out and let the expert talk about these things. So the first item on our list is my personal favorite. B knows I use this just about every single day and it is a TENS unit. If you've ever been to a chiropractor, you may have used this before. So TENS unit stands for transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation. So this works by stunning basically these electrical stimulating pulses across the surface of the skin and down your nerve strands. So what it kind of feels like is this tingling sensation that can help with pain associated, specifically associated with nerve pain, like sciatica. Though I have noticed when I even just feel sore or tight just from sitting a long period of time, this can actually help with my muscle soreness. So I put this baby on and just plug these little pads into the TENS unit and then you put them on the area of discomfort that you're having and you get to program it on the screen and you can put it on for as long as you want. Often these have pre-programmed areas like your joints, your knees, your back or your arm, anywhere else, or you can just put it on like need or acupressure itself. And then you just hit go and you can feel this tingling sensation. And after about 20 to 30 minutes, I'd say, it really relieves any soreness or stiffness that you're experiencing. So this is definitely one of my favorite things. Check it out, TENS unit, look it up, do some research on it. This is seriously my favorite thing to use every night, even when we're not traveling. Essential number two on our list also has to do with some soreness, stiffness that you might have, and it's herbal pain patches. So if you've ever been to an acupuncturist and you've complained about some soreness, stiffness, things going on, you might have already had some pain patches given to you before. The, this brand is one of my favorites. So this is a far infrared hot herbal patch. So this really helps if you're just like, wow, I'm going to be on a plane for a long period of time and you do well with heat. You find a lot of relief with heat. So this is infused with Chinese herbs, which I absolutely love because it's 100% natural. So I think it was about three years ago, we were taking a flight to South Korea. So we went from Seattle to New York to South Korea. And I used two of these during the time. And it was the best thing I could have brought on that flight. The one thing I will say is they can smell a bit powerful when you first take them out. So if you're gonna use these on a flight, put them on at home first, and then nobody will smell it once it's on you. But if you're gonna put it on later because, or you need to change them out, go to the bathroom and then open it and then put it on and put your clothes back over it. Or, you know, if you're gonna put it on, that's fine too, but just know that these are gonna have a strong smell. So if muscle soreness is a thing for you, combined with the TENS unit, use the TENS unit for a little bit of time, then put these on over it, especially if you're gonna be going to sleep. I mean, that is a recipe for pure bliss. And I also want to mention that all of these items are going to be in the description below. So be sure to click show more so you can get the exact brands that we are also mentioning throughout this video. The next three items on our list all work very well together. So keep that in mind as we're going through them. So the first of the three is zinc. 
Zinc is a mineral that's very important for immune health, cellular health, and also reproductive health. People that are deficient in zinc tend to be susceptible to a variety of illnesses. And when you're traveling, you're around a lot of different people and in new environments. So you really want to focus on immune health. So we take a zinc supplement every single day. One thing to know is if you are going to take zinc, don't do it on an empty stomach. I've done this before and it can make you very queasy and that'll last for a good like 30 minutes to an hour. So don't make the same mistake I did. Next up on our list is vitamin D. Vitamin D plays a very important role in promoting a healthy immune response. When vitamin D levels are low, you have an increased susceptibility to infection, disease, and immune-related disorders. Vitamin D levels are also associated with an increased risk of respiratory infections and decreased lung function. So right now, during this time period that we're alive here on Earth, I would say vitamin D is some, something that's very important. You wanna make sure you get a lot of. So we take vitamin D every single day. And I also wanna mention that these three items I'm talking about right now are all by Symbiotica. This is not a sponsored ad by them, but we really love this brand. They, they're so well-intentioned and their formulas are synergistic in nature and they all taste really good. So these are also something that you could give your kids, though, of course, check with your physician, check in and make sure that's a good decision for you. But we really love this brand. <laughs> Next up is good old vitamin C. Of course, a, another vitamin that is very important to keep your immunity high. So this is a pretty big bottle. We do take this with us when we travel, though I know it's not necessarily travel friendly. So for a different option to get a high amount of vitamin C every single day, there is a superfood called Camu Camu, and it's a bit tangy and tart like most vitamin C supplements are, but you can put it directly into your smoothie, mix it in with your water um, or juice or anything like that. Like you could put it in your water bottle and just shake it up. So I'm gonna put links down to all of the items that we're talking about here down below in the description so you can check it out. That's definitely going to be more travel friendly as it comes in a powder form, but I will say, this one is also really good and we mix this in with our lemon water every single morning. It kind of gives it a tropical flavor too. Brian and I consume apple cider vinegar every single day. So when we're in the van, we use a liquid. However, this bad boy is way too giant to be lugging around in uh, you know, a suitcase or on a flight, anything like that. So instead we bring apple cider vinegar capsules with us when we're taking flights. So if you're not familiar with apple cider vinegar, basically it improves metabolism by enhancing gut health. It's one of the best things that I think you can do if you're having some struggles with digestive problems. And it also helps balance blood sugar and can help kind of combat uh, cravings for sugary foods and things like that. So apple cider vinegar has been one of the things that I've kept in my health routine for the past 10 years that really, I would say, helped me get over a lot of health issues that I thought were going to be permanent. So these little capsules are easy to take and they're travel friendly rather than this big boy. So I'll put a link for these down below in the description so you can check them out. Next up on our list is medicinal mushrooms. Brian and I take medicinal mushrooms every day, whether it be in capsule form or in powder form. I've noticed that once I started taking uh, medicinal mushrooms that my body really started to crave it. And mushrooms come with a variety of benefits, of course, depending on what mushrooms you take, but they can increase immune health, uh, benefit brain health, memory, um, focus, clarity. There's so many benefits to taking mushrooms every day. So a couple of the ones that we bring with us are this Stam at 7. Rather than taking individual type of mushrooms, we go for more of a formula that has a bunch of different mushrooms in it. This is a daily immune support by um, Host Defense. This is a great brand. Another brand that we really love is Mushroom Harvest out of the Pacific Northwest, and they have this 
this beautiful 14 blend of mushrooms that we put into our smoothies every day and you can't taste it at all. So mushrooms are very high on our list. If we weren't gonna bring anything else, we'd probably just bring our apple cider vinegar pills, mushrooms, and our water bottle with us when we're traveling. If for some reason we didn't have room for everything else, that's how much we love them and really feel the benefits of them. One of the things that can happen while you're traveling is food poisoning. And that's the last thing you wanna have to happen when you're traveling. I've had a couple instances specifically in Bali, Indonesia, that was not fun to say the least. So now when we're traveling, we at least bring activated charcoal with us everywhere. It binds to unwanted materials and gas in the digestive tract, including toxins or other chemicals and prevents them by being absorbed into the body. Um, this also can work too if you maybe drank a little uh, too much the night before because you were out partying, being in a new place. So we bring activated charcoal with us. We take it um, as soon as we kind of feel that uneasy feeling in our in our tummy, so to speak, and we'll take it throughout the day and maybe for the next couple days afterwards. The one thing to know is you don't want to take activated charcoal at the same time you're taking any supplements, mushrooms, herbs, or anything else because it will bind to those materials and you want to make sure those are being absorbed into your body. So take this away from anything else, but I would say this is definitely a must, especially if you are traveling outside of your country. So one of the reasons that we always bring a double insulated water bottle is because you can use it for many different drinks because you can use it for water, of course, or you can use it for hot drinks or cold drinks. So while you're traveling, if you have certain dietary preferences, I will say, then it can sometimes be hard to find food, especially at an airport or if you're taking a road trip and there's gas station food that's not usually something you're gonna get super psyched on. At least I know I'm not. So I like to bring something that's gonna be light and also help with digestion because usually when you're traveling, there can also be some bloat and gas. And the last thing you wanna do is have heavier foods. Those are gonna be harder to digest, which is only gonna create more issues and wreak havoc on your gut. So we like to always bring some sort of meal replacement. Now, I wanna say I'm not a huge fan of a meal replacement shakes or protein shakes in general. They tend to have a lot of preservatives. They ha are highly processed and a lot of them contain a lot of cane sugar and things like that. So we use the Sun Warrior brand. I absolutely love this brand as well. Uh, they have really high quality ingredients and not only does it contain protein, but it also contains a lot of different superfoods, mushrooms and seaweeds, though you won't taste the seaweed in this, trust me. And it also contains some herbs and things like that. So it tastes really great. And you're also getting this full nutrient dense shake. And so instead of bringing something big like this, even because we live in a van, we don't even keep this. What we'll do is we'll order a container like this and just put it into a giant reusable Ziploc bag. And then we'll portion out um, some of it if we're going like on a flight or somewhere, we'll just portion out the kind we needed into a different Ziploc bag. That way it's more travel friendly. And then you can use your handy data, handy dandy uh, insulated water bottle to shake it up and then rinse it out whenever you're done. So this works well if you can't find something to eat, but you wanna make sure that you're getting the nutrients you need. You may not get really full, but at least your body will be appreciative of it. Oh, and the one thing I do wanna also mention about this, we got the salted caramel by them. We're personally not huge fans. I would go for more of the vanilla or the chocolate. Just a little tip for you. So if you're like us, you love tea. Maybe you don't, that's okay. This tip isn't for you then. But I like to bring different tea bags with us depending on what kind of trip we're going on and how long. So if you deal with a lot of digestive issues, then bringing something like ginger for an upset stomach, we'd like to keep ginger on hand no matter what, because you never know when traveling, if you're going to eat food that's 
maybe doesn't agree with you and ginger works the best if you have an upset stomach. Um, we also like to bring more of a calming tea blend with us. This is a Valerian Dream blend. You might not be able to find this, but a chamomile also works well. And then I also like to bring a coffee substitute um, that has adaptogens in it. Adaptogens are herbs or mushrooms that are gonna help your body be able to adapt to stress a little bit more easily. So I like to bring you know, something like this lion's mane rhodiola blend. Rhodiola is also another great herb. It can help with stamina. So bringing different herbs for different things in which you can just put into your double insulated water bottle and put hot water on top. So one of the things that we like to do, that way we do not have to wait in lines at Starbucks or in any other coffee shop when you're at the airport, which can be huge lines, or, you know, if you're just driving and you don't want to have to wait in one of the drive throughs is just take your double insulated water bottle into a gas station, fill up with the water there, you already have your tea bags, or you can just skip to the front of the line, go to the counter where they're serving the drinks, like at Starbucks at an airport, just ask them to fill up your water bottle with hot water, boom, you're done, you don't even have to wait in line, so pretty cool. Ah. <laughs> well, we trust that some of these tips, these essentials that we went over today will be helpful for you in your travels. Anything you want to say about them? Uh, don't leave home without them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're curious if you all like this video. This was a video we really created because uh, some of you had asked about the you know, kind of how we stay healthy while traveling, but there's so much more. So let us know if you're kind of curious about different aspects of travel, van life and health and wellness. We're thinking about doing a whole series kind of about health and wellness. Let us know if you're interested and we'll definitely do it. But thanks for watching everybody and uh, we'll catch you next week. Yeah, and be sure to subscribe, like, and hit that bell and we will see you all next week. Bye everyone. Mwah.